So I thought a good place to start this 5 Minute Wonders series is with the ASP.NET membership provider. This makes it really easy for developers to create processes like registration and log on and also do it in a really secure fashion so the passwords are well protected in the database. So what I'm going to do is just grab a brand new ASP.NET web app and this is going to be 5 Minute Membership. We could do this with MVC as well but for today we're going to go down the classic web forms path. When we do this we get an account folder and within there we've got a register page and you'll see this looks like a pretty typical registration page username email password and a confirmation we can also see that we are going to be using a create user wizard all of this is put in there automatically it's in the default template and there's some basic wiring up in the code behind what i want to do though is jump on over to the web.config and in here you'll see that within our membership providers we've got an entry already and it's configured to use the SQL membership provider and we've got some basic configuration settings things like minimum required password length so this makes it really really easy for you to tailor this uh, to your desire so let's go up and edit this connection string so that we connect to their local data source we are going to set the initial catalog so that it uses 5 min membership and we're going to set integrated security on so that we don't have to worry about doing things like creating accounts right at this point. Beautiful. So let's jump over to the SQL Server and what we're going to do in SQL Server is create a brand new database and we'll call this 5min membership and now we're going to populate this with the membership provider schema and procedures and if we just jump straight over to the Visual Studio command prompt and run ASP.NET reg SQL we get this little wizard and what the wizard lets us do is configure SQL Server for application services which includes the membership provider and in the database we're going to choose the database we just made and next and we're finished close that off so let's go and take a look at that database now so here's our 5min membership and we can see we've got a bunch of tables here so they are all just created by that wizard if we take a look at something like the membership table we will find first of all, there's nothing in there and second of all there are typical columns such as password uh, password salt which we'll come back to email so on and so forth we've also got a bunch of stored procedures of a fairly self-explanatory nature so all the functionality is built into this already what we're going to do is jump back over to Visual Studio and run this solution so again default ASP.NET web app template let's go to the login page and we will find a link to register so I'm going to register as Troy Hunt with Troy Hunt at hotmail.com and I'm going to create a password and repeat it here let's create that user let's try that again beautiful so that has been created let's run back over to here into our SQL Server and run this query again and what we now find is we've got one account in there so the password you'll see is a hash it uses a SHA-1 hash and we have also got a password salt in here so we do have a cryptographically random strong salt so the neat thing about this is that this whole process uh, has abstracted all of this away from the actual development work and that is exactly how the membership provider works